Okay then, uh, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to uh, use uh, QIS pellets, these are the 9.56 grain streamlined. Seems to shoot really well through the retake, so I've got three different rifles I'm going to put a pellet through. And using the one leaf, I've fitted each adapter onto the three different rifles. So on the retake, we've got the 48mm adapter, which is attached to an Optisan scope. Uh, I think this one's a 3 to 12. Uh, and then I've got Discovery scope on my Falcon Prairie Light Hunter and uh, I'm trying to think what I think it's another Optisan scope on the Daystate Airwolf so they work I'm going to find out what power they're doing this, uh, what I'm going to do at 20 yards is where I'm, I'm zeroing in and then using Cheergun I'll find out based on the power that they're putting out what the crossover point is further up range so it could be 30 it could be 40 yards where the paths meet again so you've got a lock like shot curve but uh, using that when it gets dark I'll go down to the range and I'll be shooting at reactive targets then at uh, 30 or 40 yards in the dark and we'll also get to see uh, what it's like out to 100 yards for the night vision. So uh, let's get on with the test. Okay, then starting off with uh, Rite. I'll uh, just get it set up. Eleven rounds. So, let's start off at the bottom target. Eleven point one. Eleven point one. Eleven point one. Eleven point two. Eleven point two. Eleven point three. Eleven point one. Eleven point one. Eleven point two. 
point one. Right, as you can see then, the uh, regulator is doing a good job. It's a Robert Lane Lancet regulator on this. Uh, so then, got got a high of eleven three, a low of eleven one, an average of eleven one, spread of zero two. That's a shot count of 11, high of 728, low of 721, average of 724, spread of 7, standard deviation 2.2. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll put the average uh, speed in at 724 on the uh, chair gun for 20 yards as a zero and we'll see uh, where the crossover point is further out. So that's the retail sorted then. Next up will be the uh, Falcon Prairie. Falcon Prairie Let's go through the sale process again to get it zero again yeah. I'm going to go for the centre target. Ten point one. Ten point three. See where we're on at. You see a laser down there. Ten point three. Ten point three. Ten. 
10. Point. Four. Ten. Point. Five. Ten. Point. Three. Ten. Point. Three. Ten. Point. Four. Okay then. So. See what we're doing with this one. Five ten five, left ten one, average ten three. So that's a shot count of nine. Five seven oh three, love at six eight nine. Average of 696. Spread of 14, standard deviation 3.4. This is not a regulated rifle, and that's why the uh, shot string is not as good as the retail. But it is accurate, it's probably one of the most accurate barrels I've got. So, fit to this, I've got the Discovery VTR. 4 by 16 by 44 and this one has got a 42 millimeter mount so the next one up is the uh, day state airwolf this one's fitted with a Firewolf 8x32x56 illuminated reticle and the adapter on it is a 45mm adapter. So if you've got one of these scopes, you more or less know what, what fits it. Okay then. go for the top one. Now I've had to refit the scope so it's not likely to fall where, it, where I'm aiming but we'll see. Yeah, it's quite a way to the right one. So just go goes next. I may have to fire more shots with this just to get it on. Seven hundred twenty-one. Like the same bloody old thing. So feet second wise we've got shot count of 18, high of 726, low of 717, average 720, spread of 9, standard deviation at 1.9. Similar to the Rite, uh, high of 11.2, low of 11.9, average 11.1. So there we go. That's the test complete. So the next test will be done at darkness on the range.
Okay then folks, I can't see a bloody thing, it's pitch black, you can see me, I can't see anything. Uh, I've got the infrared light on for the digital camera. Uh, I'm down at the range. Now, I'm doing it in reverse order now because we didn't see the uh, we didn't see the results from there. Uh, it's, it's not a bad view and it's not even switched on yet to the uh, infrared. Okay now. So we should be recording that. Just gonna go for the top. Yeah, yep, same on. So moving across then. the mag up again and we'll go straight out to 30. All I should need to do is adjust the uh, natural parallax on the skate. I'm recording anyway so let me uh, just parallax this in get some idea. So that is 100 yards up there long way okay now those I think between 40 and 50 Slightly to the left. It's very clear. Right. What we got. Aha. That's uh, forty yards. That's an actual table leg that belonged to uh, Jack's shooting bench we caught down. That's just past 40 I think. Oh, I think that's 40. Yeah, just past 40. So it's a mill dot at 40. Can't make out what that says. Some idiot's been shooting at it. Which you're not supposed to. It's got to be 45, hasn't it? This one here is at 20, so come back down to 20. That's it. So just going out down range then. That is. yards there I believe I 
and that, that framework there, that's 90. There. But, as you can see, even at 100 yards, I'm trying to focus it in a bit. It's 100 yards, if there's anything down there, you'd see it, you'd see the eyes glowing. Oh dear me, you shouldn't be looking at that, no. So back at 30, and that's the Day State Airwolf. And I think we've zoomed in two times on the magnifier. Okay, the back of the retay. There's no, no light apart from looking through the night vision. You get to switch things on and off. Something like that. So, uh, I don't think the scope quite suits the, uh, the sight. Whether it's too far forward, I'm not sure. So it's all about adjusting the eye relief to the camera as well so maybe if I pull it back a bit more I'll get a better view to it I think that could be what the problem is here well, it's all trial and error and I'm sure I'm going to uh, find that out and let you know alright Across. Just the parallax on the scope. There we go. That's nice for the discovery. Cool that dropped. Don't get that off the mill. Change. 
one last uh, go with it. And recording again. What do we do now? Let's go up to 40 yards. it for now that's the uh, initial test complete at range with the one leaf thanks for watching